class of 126 Afghan National Police recruits graduated from their training last week. The Afghans completed an intensive 10-week course under Afghan, American, and Polish instructors at the Troop Sustainment Site at Forward Operating Base Ghazni October 5th. The material covered reading and writing, personal hygiene, and the Afghan constitution, while police activities covered included riot suppression, checkpoints, and more. Some of them helped secure polling stations during September 18th parliamentary elections and even saw combat with insurgents trying to disrupt the vote. The cadets came from all over Afghanistan, but they'll serve in Ghazni province. More than 450 Afghan police have graduated from Fab Ghazni to date. Explosive Ordnance Disposal Troops, or EOD, have to some extent been branded by modern media as the wild cards of the military. Senior Airman Chris Pyle spent some time with the EOD soldiers at Forward Operating Base Salerno to form his own opinion on whether the rumors are true. I spent a while getting to know the soldiers of the Fighting 717th EOD team at Forward Operating Base Salerno. They've been dubbed the Joker's Wild, yet nothing about their operation is left to chance. In fact, safety yeah. is job number one. At least some people do get lucky sometimes, and hopefully they learn from it, but it usually doesn't ha happen the second time. It's not explosive to take it up. It's right that now. mindset that forces these techs to always be at the top of their game. We deal with IEDs, but we have the equipment, the tools, the bomb suits, robots, the up-armored trucks. If you, as safe as possible, you usually come home safe. These explosive ordnance disposal soldiers understand they have a job to do. Yeah. And that job is to save lives. 